Okay guys, today we're going to dive right on in and we're going to be doing some of our own glitter paper and then die cutting it to create a card. And so I have some stick it adhesive that I'm going to cut and attach to my white cardstock that I have already pre-cut. I want to say it's cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. Cause I always like to make them the card size and then trim them down to whatever I need it to be. Um, then I'm just peeling off the one of the protective layers and putting it on the back and then I'm going to do it one more time because the goal is to cut out the glitter paper and on the other side where the other stick of adhesive is would allow us to attach it to the card. Now right here, I was actually starting to put everything together to cut out and I realized that on this version, I wanted to do something different. So I'm sorry for all the camera movements. I was trying to get everything back to the way it needed to be. But what I wanted to do was, on this particular version, we're going to take the protective sheet off and then what we're going to do is take the fine red glitter and sprinkle it all over the uh, sticky paper now because with that stick of adhesive on top it's got just a open area of you know that stick it sheet so I'm just taking my bone folder and trying to rub it in so that way once you're done you don't have as much um, glitter coming off of the cardstock now I will say this if you do not like glitter don't do this technique only because you do have to get a little messy with it but the best part is thanks to people like Jennifer McGuire and other people throughout the YouTube world they offered us a way to escape the glitter madness and that thing is called Swiffer Sheets. So I have a Swiffer sheet here that I just cut a small snippet of and what I was doing was all the spots where the glitter wasn't sticking on my paper, I used the Swiffer cloth to take that off and it also helped clean up my desk here. You can see I'm wiping with the with the Swiffer cloth because it'll grab any of that loose glitter that you know you leave behind. So now we're gonna cut it out using our cuddle bug and I'm cutting both at the same time the hearts the connecting hearts um, they're linked hearts actually from paper smooches I got in the boutique and then this is a word die that I have in my stash and it's just happy. So now I'm just gonna punch all these out and I'm just getting my piercing tool. I have so many piercing tools. I don't know if you guys do that, but I almost like to collect them because whenever you need one, you can't find it. Like I have the, you know, the every tool that Miss Edith has and it's not on my desk. So I had to grab my Tim Holtz piercing tool. <laughs> so once I pull this out, then you can see the hearts I was just trying to put it underneath so you can see it. So we have these linked hearts with the glitter paper and the same thing with the word happy. Alright, and then I have another idea to try. So I'm going to switch off and come back. I've already ran it through the cuddle bug. And so now I have a die cut heart. And once again, I'm taking the top layer piece off. I still have the bottom, stick it. And I have a chunkier glitter, okay? And with this one, it works the same way. I'm just gonna press it in, make sure I'm rubbing it so that way every spot that I can get some of this chunky glitter is gonna get in there. And it's really amazing. It, it creates just such a beautiful card. And you have very little, I guess, you know, transfer you know how when you would rub glitter sheet and it seems like it just keeps coming off you don't have to worry about it so much with this so right here um, taking the tape off of the um, hearts 
and on the hearts because it's so thin it worked but I think that the thinner glitter is probably the best for it and I don't wind up using it in um, the final cards but it's something to keep a hold of you never know when something will pop up you need a quick card and it's like mm, I got some hearts let me put it on there so for the next uh, word die I have the word hello and with this one I'm slightly off camera and I do apologize um, I was didn't even realize I was so far off but I wanted to use these flaky uh, it's not glitter it's I don't even know really what it's called but they're almost like mica flakes um, I don't know if you guys have seen those step stupendous kits where it has like glitter beads the mica flakes and then whatever else and then you can create different things with those well that's where these three come from and as I was doing the chunkier flakes I realized it wasn't working with the thin script of the word so then I tried putting it into the fine glitter and so then I wind up having a mixture of the thicker flakes and the glitter which could work you know what I mean if it all depends on you know what I'm creating if it works out then I will use it in the future if not you know that's part of being crafty and playing um, is figuring out what works and what doesn't you know what I mean so I'm not upset about it I just decided not to use it on this particular cards but you know we'll go from there so I decided that I wanted to use the happy which I took the backing off so that way it'll stick to the front of the card and I'm doing the same thing with the red hearts and then um, before I came back, I just stamped, uh, stamped in black Versamark ink, not Versamark, Versafine ink, um, Valentine's Day. So it says Happy Valentine's Day. And then we're taking the Nouveau. This is the Glitter Drops. And this one is Sherbert Summer. And we're just putting down some droplets. I try to put them down in different sizes, some a little bit bigger. Um, I find with the Nouveau's, you got to just keep using them, and eventually you'll get your favorite method of getting them on. And then this is the second card that I did. Um, using the full heart with the chunky glitter. And under that, I just put, will you be my Valentine? So, two simple cards, but with great impact with that glitter, you know, um, that we created. The glitter paper that we created. So, thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And I will see you guys with our next video. Down in the comments below, if you like, you can leave a comment about a technique or anything that you guys might want to see next. Alright, you guys have a great day.